Welcome to the famous plaque gallery here at the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. I'm Craig Muter, Director of Communications for the Hall of Fame. With me here today is Tim Wiles, our Director of Research, and we are going behind the plaques, looking at some of the most famous managers, players, executives, and umpires in the history of baseball, all of whom are enshrined here in Cooperstown. Tim, we're starting today with Effa Manley, the only woman elected to the Hall of Fame. She was elected in 2006. Yes, we had that big class, uh, 17 Negro Leaguers elected that year along with Bruce Souter. The results of our special study on the Negro Leagues to figure out who was deserving, who hadn't been elected yet. And Effa really was a, a pioneer in the Negro American League with the New York Eagles. She owned them, I believe. She was co-owner with her husband, Abe. Abe provided the money and Effa provided the organization the business expertise and the professionalism, not just running the Newark Eagles well, but sort of raising the tide for Negro League Baseball in general. One of her most important contributions, and perhaps the reason she's in the Hall of Fame, although you know we weren't there when they were doing the voting, but um, when she sold a couple of her star players, Larry Doby to the Indians and uh, Monty Irvin to the Giants, she established the precedent that these major league clubs needed to compensate the Negro League clubs for their players, which might not have happened otherwise. So that was a very important contribution. And the Eagles were definitely one of the last powerhouses in the Negro Leagues, having won championships right up to the end of the 40s. Absolutely. Uh, under her ownership, they won the 1946 World Series. One of the other contributions she made, she was one of the first to write a book about Negro League baseball in the early 1970s. And also, off the field and outside of baseball, she made some real contributions to the American Civil Rights Movement as well. And the Negro Leagues were an extremely successful African-American business throughout the 20s, 30s, and 40s. This was a business that really thrived during difficult economic times. Absolutely, and EFA was a big part of that because um, although the business was thriving, uh, I've seen one estimate that uh, Negro League Baseball was the third largest business in the African-American community after the motion picture industry and the cosmetics industry. But until EFA came along, there was always a little bit of a looseness, you know. Uh, we might not play the schedule as we published it, if something better comes up, that sort of thing. So she just felt, hey, you know, if we're going to do this, we have to do this right. Baseball is an equal opportunity game, men and women enshrined in the Hall of Fame right here in Cooperstown. Visit us online at baseballhall.org or come on and visit us right here at the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum.